Hey everyone, I'm just going to give you a bit of a closer look at this guitar playing Lego robot that I made. If you haven't seen the original video of it, there should be a link in the description. As you can see, there are two main parts. We'll look at the strumming part first. So on the end of this little arm here, we have this pick, which is mounted on this spring, which gives it, it's relatively stiff, but has a bit of movement. And if we have a look around the back here, you can see that that pick is mounted on an arm that swings backwards and forwards, driven by this large motor, which has a 40 tooth gear on both sides of it, driving a 24 tooth gear. Um, the large motor isn't quite fast enough to do the faster parts of the song, so I've just got that 3 to 5 ratio there just to speed it up a little bit. Then we also have the same ratio on top, which transfers power up along this axle. So every rotation of this axle is in time with every rotation of this 24 tooth gear at the front. Uh, if every rotation of that gear is a down and an upstroke. So what I've done here to play only the downstroke, which is the position it's in at the moment, is every time this axle turns around, this cam will hit against this arm and I don't know if you can see that every time I press down on that arm that lifts the pick up and skips the upstroke I'll just run that for a second so you can see what I'm talking about So over on the right hand side here we have another motor which I'm using as a servo um, and by moving that servo backwards and forwards uh, 90 degrees that will move that axle across and this cam will either miss that lift arm completely and it will play both up and down strokes. It'll play only the down stroke when it's on the cam and if it flicks over to this wheel here it will miss both up and down strokes for a bit of a pause. So I've just made another quick demo program. So as big and as complicated as that looks, that's pretty much all there is to the strumming part of it. I guess I should probably mention that this robot was designed to play this song and this song only, pretty much. With, with obviously exceptions, if you wanted to reprogram it, you could program something that used the same chords and you could pick your strumming pattern, you could just change it to be whatever you like with the restrictions of down only, down and up, or a pause. There's no upstroke only in this song, so that meant that I didn't have to include it for any reason. What I did was I went on the net and looked through beginners guitar tabs just to try and make it as easy as possible for me to make from Lego and just picked the song that I like uh, that wasn't too wasn't going to be too difficult. A lot of the parts of the songs are repeated. It's just four chords, you know, it's pretty straightforward. So what I've done is I wrote this out. This is just the strumming pattern for the different parts of the song. Um, as you can see, you've just got chorus, verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, twice again, bridge. So a lot of the parts of the songs uh, are repeated, as usual, um, which is good because that means that you just have to program the chorus once and you can just repeat it six times in the program. So, for example, here we've got the verse. We've just got down, 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 and then pause. So the only thing that we have to program in that is uh, it will play down, down, down. We just have to program it to move this axle across to this wheel to do that last pause, and then back over again to start again. So that's repeated six times, and the only thing that we have to program for the verse is 
this move onto nothing for the third beat there and then move back to the downstroke to get ready to play this first one again as it repeats. So as you can see, as you go through the song, a lot of it is downstrokes only, um, or down and pause. That's just one down and then a long pause. Down, 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 pause. Uh, the, with the exception of the chorus, the chorus is a bit more complicated. Okay, so I'm just going to play you the chorus um, now that you've seen how it works. Um, this is just going to be the strumming of the chorus, just the strumming pattern uh, without any notes. Okay, and so the only other part of this strumming mechanism is this servo here, which is really more part of the fretting mechanism. It just moves backwards and forwards 180 degrees, which slightly shifts this entire mechanism backwards and forwards. And the reason for that is because uh, in this song, the chord progression is A minor, F, C, G. And on the A minor and the C chords, you actually don't play this top string. So by moving on the A and C, by moving this this whole mechanism backwards on a tilt, it will actually drop the pick down between these two strings. So every time it plays a F or a G, it will strum all, all six strings and on an A or a C it will skip the top string and just strum the bottom five. So I just quickly played the outro for you just so you can see that working. Um, you'll see this little wheel turn, half a turn, every time the note changes and every time this pick comes around and drops in it will basically not play the top string on the A and C chords and it will play the top string on the others. Okay, so the other main part of this uh, robot is this part which call it the fretting part, presses down on the strings and plays the different chords. So this is the fretting mechanism that I come up with. Um, it is essentially a series of these. It's just a little bit of left arm with an axle coming off of it. And each one of these sits slightly above the string. Uh, there's an axle that runs through this first hole here and they pivot on that axle. So when you push forward, let's move my thumb out of the way there. When you push forward on that axle, that presses down on that string. So as you can see here, there is four of those little mechanisms. Uh, this thing here on the back is just a bit of a counterweight just to um, help it fall back against its stop. I'll just quickly show you if I play this bottom string here and then if I press on this so that little mechanism is basically repeated a whole heap of times what I've got here is a series of cams I suppose you would call them that as they turn around press against those axles and in turn press down on the strings. So at the moment, I will just show you from the top here, I will just get rid of these little braces just so you can sort of see in there a bit easier. In there you can see at the moment we are on an A. So you've got the middle two strings pressed down there and you've got this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the outro part of the song again and you can see it as these 
axles rotate, uh, different cams will hit different axles and press down on different strings to play the different chords. So I will play that again. Okay, so that's pretty well it for the mechanical side of things. Um, I will mention that uh, I'm not going to be doing any building instructions or anything for a couple of reasons. Um, something that I've noticed as I was doing this is that some guitar, I, I didn't actually start with this guitar, uh, I started with a different one that I borrowed off somebody. I ended up buying this it was it's like a um a kid's guitar i think it was like 50 bucks from a cd shop it's a little three quarter size thing um which is actually good for what i'm doing um the distance between the strings is pretty much the distance between six lego studs which works out beautifully um this fretboard is nice and flat uh, the first one I started with was actually a little bit curved, which uh, was a bit of a nightmare. Um, the strings on this are nice and soft. They're easy to press down, so which puts less stress on the Lego, which makes it a little bit easier to build. Um, but as you will notice here, as I noticed as I was building it, the distance between the fretboard and the strings is quite a lot there. And not very much there so as you get further up the fretboard you have to slightly change your mechanisms um, as you can see if I get in here this axle that runs through here and the one that runs through the first fret are in line there the one that's on the third fret here I've had to very slightly lift it up higher it's probably only about a millimeter or so higher than the other two um, just because of that different distance from the top of the string to the fretboard. Um, if I get this whole mechanism and move it down a couple of frets, uh, all the distances from the string to the fretboard are different and the whole thing doesn't work. So the variations between different guitars is going to change the design of this especially uh, if you play a different song, it's going to have different chords. Um, another thing that I'll mention is that this strumming part obviously is also just suited to this guitar. I mean, that height from the body of the guitar to the strings may vary. As you can see, that kick sort of just sits the right amount into the strings. This servo may or may not be here depending on what chords you play. Um, you may need to incorporate an up only stroke into whatever song you choose to play. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. I don't know if any of you were thinking of making your own guitar playing Lego robot. If you were, hopefully I've given you some ideas. Thanks for watching.